guys, it's Tiffany. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas and ready for the new year. So this morning, I am on with an outgoing project share. This is my last Christmas project for the year. I'm so excited. I'm ready to put away all my Christmas crafts. And Valentine's is calling my name because I do love crafting for Valentine's. My three favorite holidays that I really craft hard for are Valentine's, Halloween, and Christmas. So I'm really super excited. So this swap is hosted by Mika and Rocky. And I will have their um, social media linked down below. And um, I'll go over what the swap requirements are. This is my little handy dandy swap tracker that I've been using. I've done so many swaps. So let's see here. So this is the um, gingerbread loaded bag swap, which is due January 5th. And we were to create one wand or pennant, three bows, one tag, one shaker, one ribbon sample about 16 inches, five to 10 gingerbread die cuts, one A2 size card, and one altered um, paper clip or a bulldog clip. So they partnered us. Um, some people did a group swap and some of us wanted a one-on-one. -on -one. I'm in a one-on-one -on -one swap. And so I'm gonna go ahead and share what I created. And this is my cute little gingerbread loaded bag. So I really love how this turned out. I love the colors. Uh, this is Doodlebug Gingerbread Kisses. So popular this um, Christmas. Everybody's, everybody's been using this uh, collection. And so I want to share. I use some of the ephemera and stickers here. I just put some trim on the pocket. I made this... Um, Clip, or not really a clip it's like a pin with a, a dangle and because this is propped up on foam I just stuck it in like so and I thought that was really cute. oh hold on let's see here so you just stick it in the foam and then it should stay there you go like so and in here are most of the requirements so let me go ahead and share what I created. Let me take this away. Or I just put it here. There's no room on my desk because I'm trying to um, gather all my Christmas supplies and I have to put them all back in the bins. So everything is kind of messy. I don't have space. So for the shaker, this was the first shaker that I made. And I think she turned out so cute. She got a lot of love on my Instagram. So I really love how she turned out. And I added this um, cute little cherry here, which is just a red pom-pom that my picture on Instagram didn't have that yet. But you know how you look at your crafts and then you think, oh, you know, you can always find something else to do to it. <laughs> so that's what I thought I would do. And that's what I did. So that's my shaker. And then I went ahead and made another shaker. I know it's only supposed to be one, but I love making shakers. So I made this cute candy kiss here because I've been receiving and I bought a lot of um, Hershey Kisses and so this inspired me to make candy kiss. So this is a shaker here. This cute little gingerbread was gifted to me in a, um, another swap that I was in. And again, this is from the uh, gingerbread kisses line. So yeah, so those, um, I made two shakers for her. I'm gonna put that in the front pocket. And let's do these here. Okay, so these, um are my bows i know we we're supposed to make three bows but i just made four because i made them in a set of two and this is my first set here i really love how this turned out uh this is the ks craft bow and i use one of my candy my ribbon candy um cabochons here and instead of putting the um you know the squiggly frosting i just use um a frosting top here like a dollop and I thought that turned out really cute. And then the next set here, um, again, this is another KS Craft um, bow die. And this is um, a KS Craft face stamp. And then I just um, stamped it on a, a one inch circle and I propped it up and that's how I made this bow. This Jolly was gifted to me um, as well. Um, same person who um, gifted me this gingerbread die. So I used that as um, part of the bag topper for this one. So those are my um, bows here. 
Then we're to make one tag, but I ended up making three. And I also added this um, cute little tassel here I got from Timu. And this is um, one of those Dollar Tree containers, glass containers. And I just put some, um, what are these called? Like some beads in here, some polymer clay beads. Topped it with a little pom-pom there. And I use uh, one of these um, bells that I had. I think this is from Timo as well. So one tag turned to three tags, a cute little small tag flip. So the first one here, Merry and Bright. Again, this is all uh, Gingerbread Kisses um, collection. And I wanted to gift her some dyes here. And so this is a cute little snow globe shaker die and then this one says best wishes so i usually buy a lot of duplicate dies and so i use them to gift i have a whole drawer full of things that i buy not just dies but just a bunch of other things as well and so i just kind of go through it and see you know what i want to gift so that's the first tag next tag here family tradition i um stickle the frosting here just to give us some dimension and I use one of their stickers. I use glossy accent and some silver thread. And then some of my uh, iridescent, what are these, snowflakes. Just to give it some, you know, it needs some dimension there. And I did use glossy accents on the two hearts here. And then I just put in some pink pearls. Flat back pearls for her to use. And last but not least, this one here. Oops. This one kind of bent. All right. Again, I stickle um, the frosting just to give it some interest there. So it's not just flat. I, I don't like flat ephemera. I mean, I do like it, but, you know, you ha I feel like I have to do things to it just to make it pop. Just like that, you know. And I also glossy accent her buttons there. So, yeah, that's just me, though. And in here, this is a, a present, and each dot I did um, stickle. I used the um, stickles here to put some glitter, and all the dots here have glitter. And again, I used my iridescent snowflakes and some silver thread and a white glitter snowflake on the back. And in here is, oh, here's some ribbon. So this is um, snowflake ribbon. And I just put a bell and I clipped it with a cute little mini snowflake clothespin. I believe I got that from Timu this year. So that's the ribbon sample. And I put it, I chose to put it in here. So yeah, so that's the tag or the tags that I made. Then what else did I need to make? Oh, a wand. So this is my wand. I love how she turned out. Super cute. Very sturdy. I triple layered the back. And then I just put a whole lot of layers and foam in between. Just use some simple ribbon here. And a peppermint cabochon that I had. This is a die cut. Super cute. And then I used a cabochon on top of her bow. And then I used a pink uh, straw. So she's super cute. She's pretty big. So I love how she turned out. And then, did I show you all my um, clip here? This is my bulldog clip. I'm not sure. I had to redo this video once because um, I messed up. I don't usually redo my videos. I just kind of do my videos because I just, this is me and this is what you get. But it was um, a really bad mess up. So I had to start over. But anyway, so this is my um, altered bulldog clip. I made a cute little charm here, and I was going to add this clip on my bag there. So this is just something extra I made. Um, I made these uh, banners here. That, again, is KS Craft. Um, originally, these were gifted to me, the banners, but they were more like a base. And so I added um, the sentiments here, like Falala, Kisses, and Santa. I put a hat on the snowman and added one of my stickers here. I added a sticker here. Um, the gingerbread was already on this ephemera, but you know it was flat, so this gives it a little more dimension and it's shiny. So I put the um, I put the uh, gingerbread on there. Let me take it out. Maybe this glare is 
not good. Okay, there. So that has a sticker. See how it's shiny? I put it on. And then this one, I put a hat, which I, I got from Hobby Lobby. And then I put a sticker here and a sticker back there. So there's three of them on the banner. And this one here, I just put some of that eyelash trim behind Santa because the flag came with the flag and, and the Santa. And then I put Santa here and then I stickled his hat, pom-pom, the bottom. Or no, I think it came like this. I think she did it. I'm sorry. I don't want to take credit for that. Um, the person who gave it to me did um, all that. And so I just put the eyelash trim and I added Santa. And then this here, I was playing around with my new um, lunar piece. And I have this really cute stencil that I've had for a while. And I thought, I want you know, why not use it to make a background? And so that's what I did. So I thought I would use it on here. And then this bag topper is, again, KS Craft. And, yeah, I love KS Craft. So, very affordable. So, yeah, so that's that. So, so far, I think I've almost met all my requirements. I'm just going to show you uh, the die cuts. But I sealed the die cuts, so I can't show you all the die cuts. Um, I got excited and carried away last night. So these are the die cuts. Um, I call them my gingerbread gingerbread chips because there's about 12 in here, I believe. 12 die cuts in here. And I made a chip bag from wrapping paper. So this is uh, one of the wrapping papers that we used um, this year. And they're cookies. And so I thought that was fitting. And this yummy gingerbread, again, was gifted to me. Uh, the same person who gifted me the other items. We had another gingerbread swap that I was in, and so I had um, her album out and another um, lady, and so I was just trying to, you know, use what I could from what I received. But anyway, there's a bunch of gingerbread die cuts in here. I really love making chip bags. It's a cute and easy way just to gift things, you know, um, die cuts, ephemera, trim, um, any pretty much anything. So candy. <clears throat> but yeah, so yummy gingerbread. So these are the die cuts. And then I think this is the last requirement. So I made an, uh, a card. I'm not a card maker, so I hope this is okay. Um, this, uh, what is this called? Like a tag here, it flips up like so. That was gifted to me as well. And then here, are, you warm my heart, put some stickers. So very, I used the uh, 110 pound cardstock. So, and I have a envelope for it. So that's my card. And I think that's it. Oh, here. And this is my extra that I'm giving her. So, and I have some other extras. I just won't show everything because I don't know if she, sub if she subscribed to me, but, um, I gotta keep some things uh, a surprise. So this is the Santa sack bag from KS Craft. I love how this turned out. I used um, this frosting die that I have, and I put the frosting on the side here. I got this idea to put this face on here. Um, I think it's a Crafty Diva's creation on Instagram. She makes awesome crafts, and I believe she's the one who made a Santa bag. And used a face, not this one, but another one. Um, this is from Peachy Keen. And so I went ahead and I made a bag myself. I put some, I don't know what this is called. This is like garland, Christmas garland. And then I have here a gingerbread sock. A pair of socks that I got from, uh, I think it was Five Below. Since it's all gingerbread themed. So I'm going to gift her this. So that's, um, I just put it some shred and a cute little snowflake bag. And I was going to put a nice big bow on this. And then, oh, here, one more thing. And then this I just made um, really quick last night. Just an envelope. And I put some cookies in here. Gingerbread cookies. So I have just a whole set here. And I left them basic so she can just kind of do what she wants with them. You know, she wants to glitter the edges with different glitter colors or you know because i was gonna do that but i thought you know i'll just you know 
let her work with these and um you know she can do what she wants sometimes it's nice just to have a base of something and then you can make it your own and so yeah and so that's put a gold bowl my cute little penguin cabbage on there and yeah, I think that is the end of the swap. So I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you all got some inspiration for next year. Or you can even do this. You can apply these, you know, um, crafts to other occasions. And so, um, yeah. So I hope you all have a fabulous day. Thank you all for stopping by. Thanks for watching. And you all have a great day. Bye.